In the shadow-draped corridors of the Galactic Archives, Adrian Clark's breaths came in short, measured gasps. The air thrummed with the electric hum of security fields and carried the faint, sharp scent of ozone, a constant reminder of the ever-present danger. Tonight, Adrian was more than an engineer. He was a thief cloaked in the guise of necessity. His target was a data vault, classified beyond the highest echelons of the Galactic Empire, an impenetrable fortress to any but one who knew its secrets as Adrian did. With deft, nimble fingers, he bypassed the final security protocol. A soft click of success whispered through the chamber like a conspirator's murmur. As he transferred the files, a low conversation drifted to him from the hallway. Two guards, their voices threaded with casual malice, unknowingly sealed the fate of his homeworld. They're tightening the noose on Earth tomorrow, one chuckled. It's about time those rebels learn their place. The word tomorrow reverberated through Adrian's mind with sinister foreboding, spurring him into swifter action. With the files secured, he made his escape, his steps from the archives pulsing with the urgency of the dire knowledge he now possessed. Navigating through shadows, Adrian dodged the guards, their idle chatter a stark contrast to the pounding of his heart. As the exit loomed, the promise of freedom taunted him. It wasn't just the thrill of the heist fueling his veins. It was the terrifying revelation. Earth's time was running out, and he held the key to its salvation or its demise. The night air caressed Adrian's skin with its cool touch as he emerged from the archives, the chaos of his mission crystallizing into heavy resolve. His safe house, a nondescript apartment nestled in the heart of Earth's sprawling metropolis, welcomed him with the comforting embrace of shadows. Gathering his trusted team in the dim glow of a single lamp, Adrian revealed the stolen data. Screens flickered to life, casting light on faces etched with determination and fear. We have less than 24 hours, Adrian announced, his voice steady despite the internal turmoil. The Empire plans a final crackdown. They intend to crush any hint of rebellion. Murmurs of dismay and anger stirred among the group. Mia, his second in command, met his gaze squarely. What's our move, Adrian? This is bigger than any skirmish we've planned for. A heavy silence enveloped the room, thick and suffocating. It was Jess, the youngest of his crew, who shattered it. So we just give up? After everything we fought for? Her challenge ignited a spark in Adrian, and he felt his resolve harden. No, he responded firmly, meeting the eyes of his team. We prepare, we plan, and we fight smarter. We've always known the risks. As the group rallied around him, a plan began to take shape. A plan born of desperation and the fierce will to protect their home. Adrian knew then that he could not turn away from this path, no matter the odds. Earth was their home, and they would stand for it, together. The war room buzzed with frenetic energy, with Adrian at its center. Maps of galactic trade routes and security protocols adorned the walls, casting long shadows over the assembly of Earth's finest strategic minds. Mira, armed with her profound knowledge of empire logistics, pointed to a series of nodes on the digital map. These are the arteries of their supply chain, Mira explained, her finger tracing the luminous paths that crisscrossed the galaxy. A precise strike here would cripple their ability to respond swiftly. Adrian absorbed her words, his mind racing with possibilities. We'll need to strike with precision, ensuring minimal collateral damage, we can't afford to turn the public against us. Exactly, Mira nodded. Your people have the skills. What they need now is the courage to execute. The team mulled over the strategy, each member grappling with the scale of the task at hand. Adrian noted the hesitation in their eyes, the palpable fear of the unknown. Listen, Adrian's voice cut through the low murmur, firm and compelling. I won't sugarcoat the dangers, but I promise you, each strike will be a step towards our freedom. We are not just fighting for survival. We are fighting to win. His words seemed to invigorate the room, instilling a renewed sense of purpose among the team. 
they broke into smaller groups, diligently refining each element of the plan. As the meeting adjourned, Mia pulled Adrian aside. Are you sure about this? She asked, her features etched with concern. Adrian met her gaze, his resolve unwavering. It's our only chance, Mia. We make our stand now or we lose more than just our freedom. She nodded, her trust in his leadership clear, and together they began the meticulous work of preparing for battle. The subsequent weeks unfolded in a blur of activity. Adrian's team executed their plan with a precision that belied their underdog status, swiftly disabling communications towers and intercepting cargo ships laden with supplies bound for the Empire's outposts. Each successful mission bolstered their confidence. News of their daring raids spread like wildfire, inspiring other oppressed sectors to join their cause. Adrian found himself at the center of a burgeoning alliance, each new member eager to contribute to the fight. During one pivotal mission, Adrian led a team aboard a commandeered cruiser, targeting a massive supply depot on the fringes of the Empire's territory. Ready to make some noise? Adrian asked as they neared the depot. Born ready, replied Jax, his demolitions expert, his grin spreading under his rugged beard. The depot loomed ahead, a sprawling complex guarded by drones and automated defenses. Adrian's team moved through the shadows, their approach masked by the deafening roar of nearby gas giants. As Jack set the charges, Adrian's communicator buzzed with urgency. It was Mira, her voice tense. Adrian, we've got company. A patrol squadron is headed your way. Understood, Adrian replied calmly. Evacuate everyone. We'll handle things here. He relayed the update to his team. Change of plans. We blow the charges now and scatter. Meet at the rendezvous point. The charges detonated with a thunderous roar, flames licking the dark sky. As the depot erupted, Adrian and his team slipped away under the cover of chaos, narrowly avoiding the incoming patrol. Back at their base, Adrian surveyed his weary yet spirited team. Every victory brings us closer, he reminded them. Their nods returned a silent shared commitment to see this through, no matter the cost. The mission to infiltrate the Empire's main command center marked the culmination of weeks of meticulous planning and hard-fought skirmishes. Situated on a remote asteroid, the center was a fortress of technology and tyranny, its defenses a testament to the Empire's paranoia. Adrian and his team approached in stolen Imperial shuttles, disguised as a routine supply convoy. The ruse was their best chance at gaining close enough access to execute their plan. Adrian's heart pounded with a blend of adrenaline and apprehension as they docked without incident. Inside the shuttle, Adrian reviewed their strategy one last time. Remember, we need to control the command hub. Without it, they can't coordinate their forces effectively, he instructed, his voice steady, the stakes palpable in his tone. Mira. Always the strategist, chimed in. I've uploaded a virus to disrupt their internal sensors. It should give us a short window. We need to move fast. As they disembarked, the cold, sterile corridors of the asteroid base were unnervingly quiet. The team split up, each unit tasked with seizing control of critical systems. Suddenly, alarms blared, shattering the silence. They know we're here, Adrian muttered, sprinting towards the command hub with his team. They burst into the hub, a flurry of laser fire greeting them. Adrian ducked behind a console, returning fire. Mira, now, he shouted. On cue, the lights flickered as her virus took effect, and the enemy's fire momentarily ceased. Seizing the opportunity, Adrian's team secured the hub. But their victory was brief. Through the doors marched Viceroy Zelnaga, flanked by elite guards. The standoff in the command hub was fraught with tension, each second stretching into what felt like eternity. Adrian stared down Viceroy Zelnaga, his team poised for any sign of aggression. Your confidence is misplaced, Adrian said calmly, maneuvering slowly towards a control panel. You see, this was never just about attacking your base. Confusion flickered across Zelnaga's face, his composure slipping. What are you talking about, human? Adrian's smile was thin, almost grim. 
We've planted charges throughout this asteroid. Surrender, or I blow it all to dust. The Viceroy's eyes widened in realization, his voice a cold hiss. You wouldn't dare. The fallout would be catastrophic. Maybe, Adrian conceded, his finger hovering over a detonator. But it's a risk we're willing to take for our freedom. Your move, Viceroy. The tension was palpable, the stakes higher than ever. After a moment that felt like an eternity, Zelnaga nodded stiffly to his guards. Stand down, he commanded, the defeat bitter in his voice. With the Viceroy's surrender, Adrian's team quickly secured the remaining Imperial forces. As the base's control shifted to human hands, Adrian contacted his allies across the galaxy, broadcasting their victory. Friends, Adrian began, his image transmitted to countless screens. Today we have struck a decisive blow against the Empire. This victory is not just for Earth, but for all who yearn for freedom. Cheers erupted across planets and ships, the ripple effects of their daring raid sparking hope and rebellion. The tide was turning, and Adrian knew this was just the beginning. Back at the command hub, Adrian watched the celebrations with a weary satisfaction. They had gambled big and won. Earth's fate was forever changed, and now, more than ever, they had a real shot at shaping their destiny in the stars. Subscribe for more stories. Suggest topics for next stories.